Hi. So I am super bummed that you all are not here to actually carry out your experiment with us in person, um, but I am super excited to see what you all come up with. Um, you still are going to carry out your experiment. It just might not be the exact one you planned um, or with the person that you planned, um, and that's okay, all right? So before you begin this process, I just want you to think about um, a couple things. Number one, if you are watching this video, you are going to be doing your experiment on your own. So that means that even if you did have a partner originally, you are going to scrap that. Um, you can maybe still do the same experiment if it's possible, but you will not have them to help you because you'll have to just kind of get this done on your own time. That's number one. Number two, if you do have to rethink an experiment, that is fine, okay? That's what this video is kind of here to like review with you, um, what the different pieces are and how you should get it set up. So then that way you can get that done in the coming days, okay? So this video here, I wanna go over the first three steps. So if you remember, we needed to define a question or a problem. You can kind of see where my cursor is. The key thing when you're trying to think of your question or problem is, number one, your question should start with the word which or who. We went through and we brainstormed a bunch of different things that related to our life. We thought about hobbies that we did. We thought about people that we hung out with. We thought about things that we do in school, okay? If you need to, go back find that paper, or just kind of think about things that you're interested in. You do kind of have one more piece to think about. Your experiment needs to be able to be carried out at home. Do not go out and buy a bunch of things. Find things you have around your house. Use your pets. Use the cleaning supplies you might have. Use the video games you might have loaded in your PlayStation. Whatever it is, I'm sure it will be great, okay? So, step number one, defining the question. Your question should start with the words which or who. That's going to make sure that we are testing two different groups of either people or things. So here's an example that I have given you in the past. I might ask the question, which brand of laundry detergent is most effective at cleaning grass stains? Again, I started with the word which, and then I also um, kind of explained. Now, one thing that I did not do in my first one is I was not super specific. Remember, we want to identify our two or three or four different things we plan on testing. So the second thing you need to include is you need to identify the groups or people you will be testing. So I could change that pretty easily. And I might just put comma, um, which brand of laundry detergent is most effective at cleaning grass stains, Tide or Downy? Question mark. Takes care of that, okay? Step two is where you form your hypothesis. Um, this is what you believe will happen. At this point, boys and girls, just go ahead and take your very best guess. It's not gonna be rooted in much um, unless maybe your parents have some advice from, from things that they know or if you've done a past experience, okay? I always buy Tide, and so I would maybe guess, I would say, I believe Tide will be most effective at removing grass stains. Okay, it can be whatever you believe, but just take note that I made sure that I was specific. I said exactly what I thought it was, um, and I also explained exactly what I thought it would do. I thought it would remove grass stains, okay? All right, and step number three, and this might be the part that most of you struggle with, especially if you're redoing that, okay? But this is just good review. So step number three has you identifying your all kinds of variables, your control variables, your independent variables, 
and your dependent variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start on this middle one here because sometimes that might help kind of get things organized. Remember, your independent variable is the thing you change on purpose. You set up your question up here and you use the word which or who and you identified your two or three different groups that you plan on testing. In mine, I am purposefully changing the type of detergent or the brand, Tide versus Downy. So I would just simply put for my independent variable is the type of detergent. Okay, and then you could even be more specific if you wanted to and you could say Tide or down, Downy, okay? The dependent variable is the thing I measure. It's how I know which one was the winner or which one was the best, um, but it's basically how I know the answer to that question. So in my brain, I might think of effective at cleaning grass stains. How would I measure that? How would I get a number? Um, I might do the number of washes before the stain is completely gone, right? So maybe I wash once, twice, and on the third time, maybe the stain or stains are gone, okay? So in my example, my dependent variable is the number of washes. That's how I know what's the winner, which detergent is the winner, okay? Finally, controlled variables are all the things that you keep the same to make sure it's a fair experiment. Remember back to our chubby bunny activity. What things had to be the same for the boys versus the girls to make sure that one side doesn't have an advantage? So I'm just thinking, um, mine, I would wanna make sure that I wash them in the same temperature of water. I might also want to make sure that I use the same amount of detergent. For my experiment, it might also be really important to make sure that I am using the same size of grass stain, okay? Or even for that matter, the same type of stain. So you can see I have one, two, three, four um, control variables. And if you have four or five of these variables, again, the things that you keep the same between your two or three groups, you should be pretty good. If you have any questions about any part of this video, the great thing is, is that you can always pause it, rewind it, re-listen to it. So make sure that you go back Again and again, watch and rewatch this video to help you with steps number one, two, and three.